Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create more than one classes and combine them into one program. The reason why we want to do that is because sometimes people like people can work on the same program. One person can work, work on one class, another one can work on another class. For example, let's say I wanted to do animation my other, my buddy wants to do a character mechanic or mapping etc so that's why it's useful and also if you're making your program alone classes can also help you organize your codes like methods all right well let's get started all right well we want to create a new class if you're using notepad plus plus then let's open a new class. Remember, File, New, and then you open a new tab. And make sure your language is set on Java. Again, if you're using Notepad++. Alright, well now we want to create a class. Let's type in public class. Let's do person. All right. Well, we can't use the main method in here because, or in here because, like I said, we want to create the, or we want to combine this class with this class, and this right here already have a main method, so we can't add a main method here. Oh, now let's create a method. We can do that though, but we can't do main, and let's make that method. Um, let's make it simple. Remember from the last tutorial, we're going to do the same thing inside this class. Let's do hi YouTube. Okay. Alright, we're done with this class, but we want, to, we want it to combine with this class. Make sure you save this actually. Person. Alright, we saved that ready. Alright. Well, now we have to create an operator. Because remember, Java reads what is inside of main always, never outside of main. So, we need to create an operator and tell Java say, hey, we want uh, something from this class right here, and we want to output this method. And Java will be saying, "All right, no problem," but we need to tell Java in their kind of language. And this is right here. We type in the class name. If you want something from this class name, then you have to type in that class name into here. Person. Let's do p equals new person if you haven't watched my last tutorial then I highly recommend you to pause this video and watch my last tutorial because I get into more details with this operator right here so if I were you I'll pause and go watch that before watching this alright well now we got the operator or not the operator yeah well same kind of deal right here. We now we type in the variable here. You type in the person, or not person, my mistake. If you want to use a method, then use this name right here, which is sample. It'll be sample, and then this right here. Then once you're done with that, save. Java C. Now let's run. Hi YouTube. See, it works in a different class. Alright, well now let's turn this into private. Remember, we can't use private in multiple classes. It can only be used in one class. We can publicize it by doing by, by making a new method, which I'll show you right now. And let's make a better example by using numbers. Let's use static. Because I want to make a static variable. Let's 
do static int a and b and now we need to make a public method and do static also we do sample too all right well let we want to return something and uh, that will be a great example to ant ants equals a plus b and make a uh, let's set a value for this let's be 10 and this will be 20 should we get 30 for the ants and now let's return a value remember ants is equivalent to simple so whatever the sum in this and the sum will be 30 so basically it'll be saying all right once we return it return return this then it'll be 30 is equivalent to this method here so now we can say all right we use int z equivalent to sample which is 30 30 equals z and z will be 30 so let's type in the output for that z say oops uh, I didn't mean to press that. Save. And let's make two. Since we can't use this method, we can use this though. And make sure that's void. Or different kind of method if you're going to return something. Alright, now let's compile and run. 30. Alright, well this concludes my tutorial over making multiple classes and combining them into one. Thanks for watching and hopefully you'll subscribe.